wangu Masi Chitai aweze kuendelea na kipindi hiki cha burudani. Asante sana mwenzangu. Mheshimiwa Rais, karibu kwa kipindi cha burudani. Watakao tufungulia kipindi hiki ni kwaya ya muungano wa shule zetu za majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya eneo la Nanyuki. Wanafunzi tafadhali tuweze kujiandaa. Mheshimiwa Rais wataweza kutuletea wimbo wenye anwani amani vile vile shairi lenye ujumbe heko kwa viongozi wetu na wanajeshi wetu kwa ujumla hali kadhalika watatuburudisha na shairi lao la pili lenye mada peace wakieza kuangazia baadhi tu ya juhudi za wanajeshi wetu kuhakikisha kuwa mipaka yetu iko salama na ina ulinzi wa hali ya juu vile vile ningependa tu kukujuza kuwa muungano huu wa kwaya hii ni ya wanafunzi wa eneo hili la Nanyuki wanafunzi Asante sana hizo zimekuwa ni ndege zetu za kivita zitakazo tuletea tamasha hapo baadaye hivi sasa nizamu ya wanafunzi wa shule zetu eneo la hapa na nyuki na nilivyosema awali wataweza kutuletea wimbo mmoja vile vile watatuletea shairi linalosema amani hali kadhalika watatuletea shairi lao la pili linalosema heko wakisisitiza tu na kuweza kuwapongeza viongozi wetu kwa ajili ya wanajeshi wetu ambao wameweza kuimarika kikazi kwa viwango vya juu zaidi shule hizi ni kama vile shule ya msingi ya Laikipia Airbase shule ya upili ya Laikipia Airbase iwapo mko tayari muweze kutupa burudani karibuni
women representing Kenya's power. Yeah, this will never be forgotten. Bravo, Kenya! Kudos, CLC! Kudos, Kenya! Bravo! Tuwape makofi mazuri kwa ujumbe wao wa amani na heko kwa viongozi wetu na wanajeshi wetu kwa ujumla kwa kuweza kuimarisha mipaka yetu tuwape makofi tafadhali Mheshimiwa Rais tunawafuata kipindi cha tamasha la ndege na kwa mengi zaidi nitampisha mwenzangu Sergeant George Kisuya aweze kutuongoza kwa kipindi hiki maalum karibu na asante sana mwenzangu Masi Chitai kwa kuweza kutuletea burudani la mziki kutoka kwa shule zetu za majeshi na mheshimiwa rais onyesho litakalofuata hivi karibuni ni onyesho la ndege zetu za kivita ndege aina ya F5 ndege zilizo na uwezo wa kuruka kwa kasi kuweza kutupa makombora kwenye ngome za adui hivyo basi kuweza kuangamiza adui kabisa mheshimiwa rais ndege hizi leo hii zitakuwa zinakuja katika mfumo wa mkuki katika lugha ya kimombo arrowhead formation zikiwa zinatuletea kujulikanalo kama missing man wing formation onyesho hili mara kwa mara mheshimiwa rais hutumika wakati tumempoteza rubani afisa wa jeshi wa ngazi za juu au askari jitani
kisha nitajua nilizungumza na mshoto kuenda juu kabisa na ile tofauti ni kwamba hairudi mahali nimetoka kisha ndege ya tatu mheshimiwa rais nayo itakuletea four point roll four point roll maana yake ndege hii itakuletea mzunguko katika mzunguko ya kushoto mheshimiwa rais adhani ndege ya kwanza inija kwa maidai kabisa kuinuka kwa juu
wengi mkoa hawajarajii kwa kuwa inaweza kufika kwa kasi pasipo kutamlika mheshimiwa rais ndege hii ina uwezo wa kutoa sauti kuu na katika hali ya kuruka katika hali ya kuruka na kutoa sauti hiyo uweza kuachanganya adui na wale adui ambao wamefikia ngogeni uweza kuchomoza kwa sababu wanachambua sauti hii na hapa nyumbani sauti hii tunaitambua kama sound of freedom mheshimiwa rais ndege hii kwa uwezo wa marubani yetu tumeweza kuanza kutoa moja baada ya nyingine na baada ya ndege zote kuweza kutua tutaletea kualike ambalo litapita mbele ya chukua lako mheshimiwa rais chukua ambalo kualike ambalo ni la heshima kwako pamoja na wale wote ambao tuko hapa sababu huru jua katika hali ya kawaida ikiheshi katika operation hii yote tunaenda kushiriki kurudi tukaweze kuweka kwa ile na kusema kwamba kazi tuliyopewa tunaweza kuitabilisha na hivi sasa tuko tayari kuweza kupokea maagizo ya kazi inayofuata mheshimiwa rais ndege hii aina ya EFA ni ya uwezo wa kurusha risasi za moto tunaenda risasi za chacha na risasi ambazo zitasababisha maafa kwa adui na pia wale adui ambao huenda kupata na kuja kutoka maisha haya huenda kutoka na alama ama majeruhi ambayo huko kwao mara kwa mara ndege hii inapopita wana
Mheshimiwa Rais, hapana hivi sasa ni ndege aina ya Skytruck iliyowabeba wana Kenya Defense Forces Sky Divers ambao watakuwa wanatua mahali hapa wakitumia vinyakuli. Mheshimiwa Rais, ndege ya jukwaa letu rasmi ni Gamku ambao wameweza kuweka alama kuwaonyesha wana free fallers sehemu wanayofaa kutua Mheshimiwa Rais katika ground crew hapa huwa kuna madaktari waliojinu ili kuweza kupambana na mikasa hatari uh, wakati wa vita na milenge kuweza kuonyesha wana miaguli sehemu mwafaka ya operation yao basi kwa sababu ya hali ya anga bila ilivyo hivi leo tutakuwa na onyesho linalofahamika kama losho onyesho hili ikiwa ni wana miaguli hawa wakiruka katika kimo kifupi na sio kile kinachotumika wakati wa operation mazo uh, ya operation hii mheshimiwa rais kufanyika usiku wa manane wakati maadui huwa wamelala ili kuweza kuwanyemelea na wasijue ya kwamba wanaweza kuwa wananyemelewa na wanajeshi hawa ile ile wanajeshi hawa wanatumika kutekeleza operation mbalimbali za utafutaji na uokoaji zinazofahamika kama search and rescue ili kuweza na kuwaokoa wananchi wakati watakapokuwa wamekumbwa na majanga ya dharura kwa heshima Mheshimiwa Rais naomba uweze kusonga mbele ili kushuhudia uh, wana sky divers ambao tayari wameweza kuruka kwenye ndege hiyo. Mheshimiwa Rais tafadhali kwa heshima naomba uweze kusonga mbele ya jukwaa letu rasmi ili kuweza kushuhudia wana sky divers ambao tayari wameweza kuruka kutoka kwa ndege ile basi hivi sasa tayari waweza kufungua miaguli yao na tukiangalia tunaona kwamba tuko na bendera yetu ya taifa tuko na bendera yetu ya majeshi ya Kenya tuko na bendera ya jeshi letu la Chicago pamoja na bendera ya jeshi letu la wanamaji hivi sasa wakiwa ndani mheshimiwa rais wanasoma eneo lao la operation sehemu ambayo wanafaa kutua uh, hivi sasa ili kuweza kutekeleza wajibu waliopewa ningependa tu kuwafahamisha ya kwamba wanajeshi hawa wakati kama huu huwa wamebeba mizigo mizito ikiwemo chakula sana za vita pamoja na stakabadi ambazo zitawawezesha kutekeleza majukumu yao kwa siku kadhaa ama ule muda ambao huwa wameweza kupewa wanateremka kwa umaridadi kabisa hivi sasa wakiwa ndani wakipepea wakishuka kwa umaridadi wakitumia ujuzi na tajiba walionayo ili kuweza kutekeleza operation hii mheshimiwa rais mafunzo mafunzo ya wanamiaguli hufanyika hapa nchini Kenya katika shule inayofahamika kama Special Operation Training School chini yake Luteni Kanali Simon Seda Seda Mheshimiwa Rais ukiangalia mbele ya jukwaa letu rasmi tunaona kwamba hapa Drops of Safety Officer ameweza kukuliza moshi ili kuashiria sehemu wanayofaa kutua na vile vile uweza kusoma upepo kadri unavyovuma basi wanakuja kwa taratibu kabisa wakiwa ndani hivi sasa wajiendelea na kusoma eneo lao la operation vile vile wakijadiliana jinsi watakavyotekeleza wajibu wao kunde tu watakapotua mahali hapa basi wanakuja kwa maridadi kabisa Mheshimiwa Rais wanajeshi hawa ni mabigi wa kuruka na mara nyingi wako na uwezo wa kukaa ndani kwa muda mrefu zaidi 
hasa iwapo watakuwa wameona kwamba labda eneo hili bado halijakuwa tayari kutua lakini wakiwa hapo angani huwa na mazungumzo yao speciali waweza kujuzana ni jinsi gani watakavyotekeleza wajibu wao basi wanaendelea kupepea kwa maridadi kabisa wakiendelea kusoma eneo hili basi wanakuja kwa maridadi kabisa kama nilivyokuwa nimesema hapo awali kwamba wana uwezo wa kuweza kukaa ngani muda mrefu kabisa wakiendelea kusoma eneo hili la operesheni mheshimiwa rais vikosi hivi vya wanamiavuli viko chini yake kamanda anayefahamika kama brigadier Ahmed Saman ambaye ndiye kamanda wa operation special za majeshi yetu ya ulinzi basi tiangalia angani hivi sasa ni bendera na hewani ambazo zinapeperushwa ikiwa ni bendera yetu ya taifa ikiwa mikono mwake Jump Master Sergeant John Kide bendera ya majeshi yetu ya ulinzi ya Kenya ikiwa chini yake Jump Master Senior Sergeant James Yesora pamoja na bendera ya jeshi letu la Nchikapu ambayo iko chini yake Jump Master Senior Sergeant Ashford Burana bendera ya jeshi letu la Angani iko chini yake Jump Master Warrant Officer Tu Ronald Bichanga na bendera ya jeshi letu la Namaji ikiwa chini yake Jump Master Senior Sergeant Joseph Mudama basi wanakuja kwa maridadi kabisa kwa utaratibu wakiendelea kusoma eneo lao la operesheni basi tunaona kwamba bendera yetu ya taifa itakuwa inatangulia kuweza kutua mahali hapa na kwa umaridadi ujuzi na tajiba alionayo Jump Master Sergeant John Kide anaipeperusha bendera hii ya taifa kwa umaridadi kabisa ajifuatwa kwa ukaribu naye Jump Master Senior Sergeant James Yesora ambaye anaipeperusha bendera ya majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya bendera ya jeshi letu la Nchikavu vile vile iweza kupeperusha mahali hapa pamoja na bendera ya jeshi letu la Ngani vile vile mwisho kabisa pale ni bendera ya jeshi letu la Namaji kwa umaridadi kwa utaratibu taajiriba alionayo anachelewa vizuri kabisa kusoma eneo lao la operation na hali alipotekelewa kujua wanapofahamika kama bro na wanapofahamika kama bizana impact point tupe makosi mazuri bendera ya jeshi letu la Ulinzi inaendelea vizuri kabisa kwa maridadi hapa na jump master senior sergeant James Yesora bendera ya jeshi letu la Nchikapu inaendelea kwa maridadi na jump master senior sergeant Arthur Dorana bendera ya jeshi letu la Ngani ikiteremshwa na jump master warrant officer Ronald Bichanga Tuwape makofi wanapokuwa mahali hapa salama kabisa tuongeze makofi wana sky divers kutoka jeshi letu majeshi yetu ya ulinzi ya Kenya bendera ya jeshi letu la wanamaji kwa umaridadi utaratibu kabisa ujuzi alionao na tajiba jambo mambo sio sadi kutoka mudama anaiteremsha mahali hapa sehemu aliyotengewa kujua inayofahamika kama desired impact point tupe makofi mazuri basi sasa tuko na watatu ambao wamesalia kule angani ili kuendelea kusoma iwapo wenzao wameweza kusua mahali hapa salama na iwapo sehemu hii imekuwa salama kuweza kutua kabla yao kuweza kutua mahali hapa basi hivi sasa wanakuja kutaratibu kabisa na kama nilivyokuwa nimesema hapo awali wanajeshi hawa wana uwezo wa kukaa angani kwa muda mrefu zaidi kutokana na mafunzo waliweza kuyapokea kutoka kwa shule yetu hapa nchini Kenya inayofahamika kama Special Operation Training School ambayo huwapea mafunzo wanajeshi hawa wanaotekeleza operation special za majeshi yetu ya ulinzi ya Kenya basi wanakuja kwa maridadi kabisa hivi sasa 
Wakipeperusha miavuli hii kwa maridadi Wakitumia tajika kuwa lizunazo Na mafunzo ya kiwango cha juu kabisa Mwishmi wa rais wanajeshi hawa Mara nyingi zoezi hili halifueleki Na hivyo kasi kutumia kusemo unausemo Every jam is a new jam Kwenye zoezi hili Mwanajishi hawezi kusema kwa mba niliruka vizuri jana Nimeruka vizuri ya suburi Kwa hivyo kasi nimi nimezoea kufanya kazi hili Ila uweza kuwa makini Kila wakati anapotua mahali hapa Kasi anapulia vizuri kabisa hapa kwa umaridadi Akisoma eneo lake la operesheni Akiwa ni mwara kutu Hau kumasanja Mbaya nani ya mwakuni kabisa Akikuwa atu hapa kwa ukaribu na esi ya saye Hau mbogo Pamoja nae jump master Anae kwa mika kama Qualified Master Senior Instructor Waras of Sessu Samus Cross Ambaya meneza kutake pale yuma Tuangalia wintake Jinsi wanavitua Kwa umaridadi Waras of Sessu Paul Oma Sanja Anatua sehema yotengewa Kwa umaridadi kamisa Tumpe na kwa kumabuja na kutuwa na hali hapa Atikuwa kwa kumkaribu kamisa Hapa na iti ya chani Paul Mbogo Ambaya ya natuwa na hali hapa Kwa umaridadi kamisa Ajitezesha mbogo yake kwa maridadi wa mwisho kutuwa mahali hapa jump master wala ndosa tusami kilo wako makofi na zimi wana Kenya Defense Forces Skydivers kwa onyesho hini la wana miavuli basi kama hivyo kawaida mweshimi orais wanajeshi hawa wanapotuwa mahali hapa uweza ukumja maratuti zao haraka iweze kanavyo kwa kuhopia iwako watakuwa meonekana na maadui Basi wasige wakapatikana mahali hapa Basi wana kuendelea na zoezi hili Mamoja na kupokea amri kutoka kwa kamanda anayendesha zoezi hili Nitawarunishia wana yellow webinars Waweze kutuletea gurudani Yeleo Yes sir Mambo
asanteni kwa heshima tunaweza kuketi tafadhali Mheshimiwa Rais wanajeshi siku zote mambo yao ni sawa sawa wanatembea sawa sawa wanavalia sawa sawa na vile vile wanapigana vita kisawa sawa huo ndio mwisho wa onyesho la wana Kenya Business kuendelea basi mheshimiwa rais wana mwisho wa kipindi hiki cha burudani na hivi sasa mheshimiwa rais mheshimiwa naibu wa rais waheshimiwa mawaziri mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya katibu wa kudumu idhara mbalimbali naibu mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi service commanders itifaki zote zikizingatiwa kinafuata kipindi cha hotuba na kwa heshima naomba nimwalike mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi generali Robert Kibochi aweze kuendelea CBS Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Cabinet Secretary is here present, the Principal Secretary is here present, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, all service commanders from all disciplines, general officers, members of parliament here present, the defense attaches uh, here present, members of the military wives association of Kenya, KDF officers, serving members, service members, both serving and retired, KDF families, distinguished invited guests, Your Excellency, it is our distinguished honor to host you and distinguished invited guests today at the Laikipi Air Base as we observe the 11th anniversary of the Kenya Defense Forces Day. We are indeed grateful and conscious of the fact that Your Excellency has graced this occasion in the midst of your very, very schedule, a very busy schedule, as you continue to structure your new administration. In this regard, admit me, Your Excellency, on behalf of the entire Kenya Defense Forces family, to congratulate Your Excellency on becoming the first President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander in Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. We commit to serve under your command with dedication and fidelity in the fulfillment of the KDF constitutional mandates of defense and protection of Kenya's territorial integrity and sovereignty. Whereas this day marks a solemn occasion on which we celebrate the gallant Kenyan officers and service members who have paid the ultimate price while serving our great nation, we also pay tribute to those who served alongside them and suffered, suffered the scars of war, and not forgetting dear families who survived them. Indeed, the essence, valor, and strength of every KDF soldier is anchored in the support of families who are the backbone our very existence. Your Excellency, the families of our gallant officers and soldiers whom we salute today have made great contributions and we recognize this contribution as one of generating KDS fighting power. To serving and veteran soldiers and officers we, in service, reaffirm our commitment uh, to your well-being uh, through the established welfare framework under the Defense Comp Compensation and Welfare Services 
and the ongoing establishment of the Veteran Affairs Directorate following the enactment of the Military Veteran Act of 2022. In defending the country against external aggression, KDF troops have robustly continued to undertake counter-terrorism operations within and beyond our borders, which has significantly degraded the Ash-Shabaab menace. In all KDF deployments, we continue also to carry out humanitarian civic action in support of local communities as part of, of, of humanitarian civic action in the past year in countries of Baringo, Laikipia, Samburu, and Masabit, we have done a lot of dams, including water pans and boreholes. KDF has, within the multi-agency framework, delivered on its mandate of assisting and cooperating with MDAs towards the provision of services to the Kenyan people. In addition, in response to climate change, KDF, through the Environmental Soldier Program, established in 2008, continues to partner with other stakeholders in afforestation efforts and tree planting across the country. As we mark this day, we assure the Kenyan people of KDF's commitment to the defense and protection of our motherland, as this is our sacred duty and calling. It is now my duty and honor to humbly request Your Excellency to address the officers, service members, military families, and invited guests. Your Excellency, sir. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinguished honor to join you today to observe the 11th anniversary of the KDF Day. This is a day dedicated to the remembrance of those of our gallant soldiers who have paid the ultimate price in the defense of our Republic Kenya. We pay homage to the bravery of our warriors in defending and protecting our sovereignty, territorial integrity in diverse engagements. As Commander-in-Chief, I note with approval that the theme of this year's KDF Day is, and I quote, soldier-centric approaches towards the upscaling of mission readiness, end of quote. Indeed, this underpins the sense of duty that the troops continue to exemplify. Our freedom and sovereignty are hard-worn products of great sacrifice that we must always guard with utmost vigilance in honor of those who sacrifice for it and in order for us to achieve sustainable development. Our territorial integrity relies on our defense forces and its members must therefore always be prepared for every exigency with the requisite tools, capabilities, and motivation. The tip of the nation's spear has always been and will always remain our troops, be they on land, in air, or at sea. The government commits, and the government commitments in this regard will remain paramount, and we will continue to invest in our men and women in uniform through the provision of training and education complemented by the acquisition of relevant weapon systems, equipment, 
and guaranteeing access to medical care that is holistic, that is reliable and effective. The KDF must remain thoroughly professional in order to secure the nation against all threats by offering credible deterrence and also stay robust enough to engage any threat to Kenya's national security and interests. Having been recently briefed on aspects of research and development undertaken by the KDF, some of which were showcased at the just concluded Nairobi International Trade Fair, I look forward to seeing more innovations from the military family. It is desirable that the solutions out of your laboratories and workshops are not exclusively focused on defense and security. I urge you to also seek to address human security needs of the citizenry, like food security and affordable housing. Indeed, the broader national purposes of our public service, in so far as they apply to defense forces, should find robust expression in the work that our gallant men and women in uniform undertake. I am delighted to observe that you have seized the opportunity of engaging with the citizenry as a platform to articulate our collective aspirations and give the best expression to our national values and principles of governance. Sustainable development being our ultimate principle of governance, it is encouraging that you continue to explore ways of lending a hand to the greater national effort. Significantly, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya needs to take steps towards self-sufficiency in simple defense articles, apparels, and food. In fact, appropriate degree of military industrialization has spurred the growth of the civilian industry in other jurisdictions. Kenya thus needs to follow international best practice to achieve this desired self-sufficiency. I note also the secondary role the KDF has undertaken in support of other state agencies in disaster response, human, uh, humanitarian support, and inter-community peace building. This is yet another chance for our forces to practice its magnificent tradition of articulating our values. Our soldiers embody national security and inspire confidence. Your participation at the core of efforts to solve human problems and respond to citizen needs entrench your capacity to touch hearts and to encourage people. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is committed to international as well as regional peace and security. As it is the only guarantor of amicable co coexistence and regional economic growth. Our forces continue to be called upon by the Africa Union and United Nations to augment peace support operations in Africa and beyond. And I have had a conversation with the leadership of our KDF to expand our efforts in peace keeping across the globe. Some of the sacrifices of our soldiers, therefore, are not confined to our immediate borders. The legacy of Kenyan peacekeepers has been appreciated as far away as West Africa. We are proud of your achievements as Kenya's unique ambassadors and proud champions of the Kenyan winning way. As a responsible member of the global community, our stand on the war on terror speaks for itself. For this reason,
KDF is in Somalia, having been invited among other nations to support the United Nations and the Africa Union Transition Mission in Somalia, formerly AMISOM. This, contribu this contribution supports the efforts of the international community in pursuing peace in the Horn of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, the welfare of soldiers and their families is a priority. I therefore appreciate the establishment of the various KDF regional hospitals in order to bring closer the requisite preventive and curative health to families and veterans. This initiative saves costly and lengthy trips to Nairobi for treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I take this opportunity to rally our distinguished citizens to maintain the noble tradition of honoring the service of all our men and women in uniform and in appreciating the heroic sacrifices they are called upon to make for us to live in peace and in freedom. We must renew our commitment to do our part in doing all we can and do it right. Let selfless service define the work we all do for our country, regardless of whether we are soldiers or otherwise engaged. In any case, Kenya is the collective project of 50 million Kenyans, citizens doing their bit, our men in, uni in uniform doing their part, and the people in the executive, in the legislature, and in the judiciary playing their role. We must perceive our daily duties, whatever form they take, as contributing to the broader collective endeavor in pursuit of, a, of sustainable development and apply ourselves accordingly. Every day in Kenya we should be, every day in Kenya should be a day of work and service and every moment a celebration of patriotism. I further commend the spouses of our service members to remain, who remain at home holding forth as their loved ones are away on deployment. Their work is silent, away from sight, with absolute loyalty and dedication to keep families together, thereby sustaining an indispensable support network to our officers. It is this affirming and nurturing network of loved ones which again become primary caregivers to those of our personnel who may, unfortunately, suffer critical war trauma, whether physiological or psychological, and their support is vital for healing and strength. We do not take this outstanding form of selfless national service for granted. And on behalf of a grateful nation, I appreciate you and I thank you. Let us therefore proceed on the understanding that we are united in service to uphold, protect, and defend our nation and its values, and to support one another along the way because we are enlisted in one cause, the cause of one nation and one people. Finally, I am grateful to the Almighty God for this day, and I wish you his blessings as you travel back to your respective homes. May God always bless our defense forces, and may God bless our beloved nation, Kenya. Asante Nisana. Mishirans, hivi sasa mitufuata gwaride la macho ya wajua, mita kaleleto na bendi zetu za mwishi ya ulinzi ya Kenya. Bendi, tafadha.
kwa heshima na umba sote tusimame kwa wimbo specially wa kuwakumbuka mashujaa waliotuacha wanaofahamika kama fallen heroes kimya kifupi kwa heshima ya mashujaa waliotuacha Asante Tuba kitu kiwa tumesimama kwa wimbo wa injili, wimbo wa kushikisha bendera, wimbo wa etuwa taifa na wimbo wa jumu ya Afrika mashariki. Bye. Uh -huh. 